All right, so this is a suggestion via a donation. The name of the video is The Scariest Things Ever Caught on a GoPro Camera. Guys, I use GoPro all the time. I've never caught anything, unfortunately. I guess my life is boring. I don't know. Um, but I do, again, I do use them. Um, one on my FPV drone, and then I use another one on uh, the front of my Jeep whenever we do, like, either mudding or driving through rivers or rock crawling and things like that. Um, generally, that's the extent of my GoPro usage. Uh, there's no skiing. There's no, no swimming or nothing. Nothing crazy like that, guys, but anyway, let's check it out. Let's see what this video takes us, guys. The top five scariest things caught on GoPro camera. Train spotting. Bro, Ryan Garcia and three friends loud? were exploring the train tracks in Chatsworth Park, just north of Los Angeles. Let's try that volume. Garcia films with his GoPro as they come to a tunnel and decide to walk through the dark passage to the other side. Yeah, but is it... If, Wait, hold on, bro. Is it an active train track? Like it's functional. Bro, it looks completely functional. And you're walking down it into a tunnel. Okay. Hmm. There is a strange noise. Hey, train, train, train! Turn off your lights! Right. Guys, this is what I'm talking about. Oh, shit. Run, 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 run. Like, the only thing I was worrying about, seriously, the whole time is why are you in a tunnel? Oh, shit! When an oh. active train is coming. You're crazy, bro. Run for your run, life, run. literally. Oh, right. Run. Right. Oh, buddy. Bro, you see how you feel right now? So you feel right now on the ground, right? Someone hurting, unfortunately, because you ran your life off and then fell, right? It's fine. You deserve that, sir. Absolutely. You shouldn't have been in there in the first place. Would have been me. Like, what are you looking for inside that tunnel, bro? What are you looking for? I don't understand it. It was called train spotting. Never heard of it in my life. It sounds silly. Don't do that again, bro. All right. Garcia uploaded his scary GoPro video to YouTube. Oh my God. It got a harsh response from many viewers who felt that Probably entering me. the train tunnel right. was a pretty stupid decision to begin with. Okay, I thought I was alone there for a second, unfortunately. The video right, received over 570 thumbs down. Right, imagine. Okay, just, I, I, I'm one of those dislikes. And scathing comments <laughs> like, quote, I can't be the only person who was rooting for the train. Whoa. <laughs> okay, okay. That's Okay, that's wild. Oh. <laughs> like, like I mean, listen, I understand you're online. You can say whatever you want to say, right? Be absolutely cruel to the person on the video. I get it. Do your thing. But that's a little crazy, bro. Run. That's just not Run. nice. Level three helmet. Okay. GoPro cameras are not just used for all fun and games. Right. Militaries around the world now use the compact cameras to monitor training missions and even to document dangerous real military operations. Okay. Sometimes the GoPros catch some pretty scary footage. I mean, the first one was troubling. You got cover out there? What is this? Hey, we got a sniper. Dude, you got shot. I did get shot. I saw it hit your Kevlar. I got fucking... What the f***, man? Am I good? My ears are fucking... Oh, my God. <laughs> Lucky son of a bitch. Look at that. What the fuck? Dude, you all right? Yeah. Whoa. Break, break, break. My teammate just got shot in the helmet. He's good. He's good, but we believe there's a sniper. Hey, what is that? That's the south side? Bro, whatever helmet company 
made that helmet. Congratulate. Dude, that's through. All right, let's, right. let's get out here and do something about this. Come on. Right, yeah, why are you still there? It's time, it's time to go. Thanks to his Kevlar wow. helmet, this Marine doesn't even get a scratch from the sniper's bullet. Tunnel of Terror. YouTuber Street Zips Con decide- Congratulations. To that, I mean, there's nothing else more I can say than we thank you for your service, absolutely, right? But congratulations. I mean that. Like, to, to, the, bro, to the depths of me, I mean that, okay? All right, let's go. For a winding rain sewer with a GoPro camera mounted to his forehead. Now, perhaps the most frightening part of this footage is that Street Zips is exploring the dark abandoned tunnel all alone. The footage looks like something right out of an intense first person horror game. And not long into the video, life seems to imitate gaming. Okay. He climbs a ladder in the tunnel and finds a strange abandoned backpack in a wall recess. Oh, cool. Let's go find out what's inside of it. Hopefully no body parts. Guys, guys, why are you here? What are you doing? Never. As he explores further, he begins to hear strange sounds and arms himself with a large stick. Of course. In the distance, Mandatory. he hears the sound of metal being dragged along concrete. <laughs> right. Right. Turn around. Right. Uh, you know, uh... <laughs> I mean, put the light behind you and start walking backwards. Basically. So you see if something is coming up. Flashlight battery begins to drain, oh, he becomes <laughs> panicked, and starts to run. Right. In one clip, Street Zips claims that he saw something large move in the shadows, and he dashes toward the tunnel exit. Guys, some things are just meant to be left alone, bro. Just being honest. And I'm not sure you should be going by yourself. Yeah, just... We are not alone. <gasps> okay, these, these videos are giving me, like, anxiety, guys. Um, you know, but all right, we, you know, we're going to do this. We, we have resigned ourselves to this fate. Now, what I personally find most disturbing about urban exploration videos is not the idea that the explorers might encounter ghosts or hauntings or anything supernatural. It's the thought of what strange real life people might be lurking around the dark abandoned buildings. Hey, I'm gonna be honest guys. If you were someone who wanted to do someone harm, you would probably be hanging out in places like this. I'm just gonna be honest. Like no one is gonna come and, and if someone comes, they're kind of breaking the law in coming. All right, so you're, you're you're bringing a very specific type of person to this area. Like if, you, if someone's gonna go missing, they're probably gonna go missing, and their body is probably gonna be found in a place like this. I'm just gonna be honest. All right, so yeah, um, I would prefer not to do anything like this. Uh, I have done urban exploring one time legally though, um, but you know, all right. <laughs> it YouTube channel crazy the crazy like people this. decided to explore an abandoned insane asylum. The old institution was in the middle of nowhere, miles through the woods down a dark, unmarked road. 
At first, their exploration was creepy, but mostly uneventful. They trekked from room to room, documenting the decaying asylum. But then, one of the urban explorers looks out a broken window to film an outer staircase. Okay. He notices something very disturbing. Okay. Look at this staircase out here. Oh, What? There's somebody there. No way. Yes, yes, see their light. They're out there. I Show swear to me again. my life. Show it to me right again. I have a black screen. Should I say hello? Yeah, yeah say hello. Let's go back to the car. This way, if yeah. it's somebody wanting to talk to us. Let's go to the car now. Oh, yeah. Why would you even want to talk to anybody you met randomly here? Why would you? What kind of what kind of conversation are you gonna have? Hey, I just found a a I don't know a shoe or a seat that has its seat ripped out. Like it looks like a toilet. No, I don't want to talk about anything from this place here, bro. There's no conversation that you can have that would be relevant. Get into the vehicle and leave. You do not know what's going on, and it's not your business. Yeah, let's go to the car. Right. It looks like a cell phone, right? Like a cell phone light, yeah. What looks to be someone using a cell phone is walking around just outside the building. Again, keep in mind that this institution was in the middle of nowhere. There were no other cars around and no reason for anyone. I mean, listen, okay, there could have been something on the wall that gave it a reflection because they were using a flashlight. It looks like a cell phone light. It could easily have been a piece of metal kind of reflecting the light in an odd, awkward position. As soon as he turned the light off, there was no more reflection, right? But let's continue. Anyone else to be there. The explorers immediately decide to leave. Until... Should we just bail? I don't know. Let's see who it is. There's no other car here. He was around this side. That was 100%. That was person. a person. But he had a phone. Why is there a person here? Like, what the f***? Huh. We can't keep exploring this place if there's like some random person out there that we don't know what they're doing. After they've made their way outside, the guys call out to the person in the dark, but no one answers. Where? You saw a light? Hello? You guys need to invest in better flashlights. Hello? All these people that do yeah, these the, things the fact have that they're not answering terrible back. flashlights. Let's get out of here. It's too sketchy. Like, yeah. they could be wanting to, like, f***ing rob us. Yeah. They hop in their car and make a hasty retreat down the dark, unpaved trail. Hmm. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, be sure to hit the subscribe button and also hit the little bell icon to turn on mm. notifications so that you receive an alert every time a new video is posted. All right, guys, listen. So overall, this one here, solid. Uh, the most troubling one was obviously the first one. Guys, stop playing with trains. I don't understand why you would want to play with trains. Um, I don't know what situation you were in mentally where you said, you know what, I'm, I'm wake up this morning and I'm going to go play in a train tunnel and almost not make it home. The train can't stop if it sees you. It's going to it's going to run right through you. Why would you involve yourself in those shenanigans like that? It's crazy to encounter that things like this and the fact that people do these things guys either way listen let me know in the comments the next thing i should be checking out guys all right and i will get into that as soon as i possibly can and if you guys are new here please like and subscribe the more that you like this type of content the more that i know that you specifically would like to see this type of content all right i'll catch you guys later